to the police minister, Leonard Max. Now, Max is a member of provincial legislature and the DA chairperson of arts and culture as well as sports. And he had met with police minister Becky Trele in May to discuss ideas and policing strategies. He recently received a call from the minister appointing him as his advisor. However, despite Max being elated about his new position, the DA says by accepting the job, he should do the honorable thing and walk away from the party. Let's welcome him and uh, have a conversation with him. Leonard, we really do appreciate your time. Thanks so much for being with us here on the program. Good morning. You explained receiving this phone call as a dream come true because it's something that you feel so passionate about, policing, safety, security, to get a phone call from the minister to be his advisor was something great for you. However, um, after announcing it became somewhat of a nightmare. How are you feeling now about the appointment? Yeah, it is uh, a, really a dream come true, as you said. You know, from my childhood days, uh, it was my desire to become a police officer. So, yes, I joined the police at the age of 18. And, uh, you know, I swore to serve our people in this country. I was prepared to die for the cause. And uh, the appointment by the minister is once again, for me, a great achievement. Um, I'm elated and uh, I really hope that my appointment uh, will contribute to the safety of our people in this country. Mm. If uh, my contribution can save one life, then I think it was worthwhile, this appointment. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about the politics behind this, however, because obviously your political party, the DA, is not happy at all with you and you accepting this position. What's your reaction to them being? You know, when I joined the DA in 2005, I thought this is a party which is uh, caring, you know, and put the people first. And I'm totally surprised and uh, astounded by uh, the DA leader, Bonke Kosi Madagizela's uh, views, you know, and his call on me to uh, abandon my DA leadership. Now, that is clear to me that uh, the DA has changed drastically. To, uh, it is a very d disappointing moment for me that uh, whilst I am being called by the government of the day, to uh, contribute to the safety of our people, uh, this uh, leader is uh, chasing after me uh, for a membership ticket. Mm -hmm. So it is clear to me that he, he places uh, party interests above the interests of our people. And, uh, and if I have to choose between a DA leadership and serve our communities, I will serve our communities and he can get his DA ticket if he wants to take it. Because my appointment uh, in this position uh, when I was approached by the minister, uh, Becky Taylor was not subjected to any political affiliation. Now, that is proof of a national government leaded, leading by uh, our president, Cyril Ramaphosa, and a police department headed by uh, my minister, uh, Becky Taylor. It's a government which is caring, who is uh, uh, really put the people of South Africa first yeah. and, 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 and are serious to serve our people. Leonard, what I'm gathering from you here is, is almost an admission that you don't have faith in the DA, that the DA has disappointed you, it has let you down. Why don't you just leave the party? No, there's uh, my constitutional right to, uh, to officers association. I joined the DA. I will not just uh, abandon the DA because of the, because of the course of Mr. Bongikosi Madikizela. Um, I'm here to serve, and I've, I believe that you can serve our country and our people in any capacity. You know, the call by the president, the Tumamina, he sent me. It's a noble call. It's Ubuntu. And each and every caring citizen of this country should make such a contribution. And I decided let I step into the bridge and answer that call by the president. It's our country. We cannot expect people, foreign people, to come and solve our own problems. We, as citizens of this country, must step in and change the situation ourselves. It's our country, black and white. We have to make a difference, and we make sure that tomorrow is better than today. Yeah. You know, however, um, this is, it, it's almost... It's almost a replay of what we're seeing in action here between, between yourself and Patricia Delo. And it looks like 
this is going to land up in a court again. And I think you yourself are waiting for it. In fact, you have mentioned this in a publication, something that I suppose has been dubbed the Patricia the Lil Clause, where um, as a DA member, you are now speaking out against the party, and this may land you up in very hot water with the party. Is this just not a, a very public spat between you and, uh, and Madiki Zella? I mean, this is, you've mentioned his name many, many times during this. In fact, there was a, a battle between you and him for the position that he eventually won. There was talk about rigging votes and it wasn't going right. Then you were put in an arts portfolio, which you yourself have said, I now spend my time watching operas and that's not what I want to do. So my question to you is, is you know, why not amicably end this move on and do what you want to do and perhaps join the ANC and fight for what you believe in? Listen, uh, I'm, uh, you know, with any action, there's a reaction. I didn't bait Mother DA when uh, I take up the, took up this position. Mr. Bongi Kosi Matikizela, he was the per a person who challenged me and he came after me. So I just reacted. Uh, until such time that uh, I will decide uh, uh, whether I want to change uh, uh, party political uh, membership. But uh, I'm currently the member of the Democratic Alliance and it is his right uh, and the party's right. Mm. to uh, revoke my membership if they feel that uh, that is more important than uh, serving the people of the country yeah. and the Western Cape. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I, I have to ask you these questions because, I mean, this is how politics works. The DA are excellent at looking at what the ANC does and criticizing them. They are the official opposition in Parliament. They will look at strategies from the ANC and say, no, this is wrong. They're not doing it right. Now, what happens in a position where currently, I mean, you yourself speak out about how dire the situation of crime is in the country, but they do point a finger at the, the governance of the ANC and say, you're not doing a good job. We can do a better job. And yet for the DA to say that now is very difficult because you are from the DA working with the ANC in that department. How do they actually judge now when one of theirs is also in the department running it? Now, I mean, have you taken that into consideration? Yes, you must understand uh, we as a DA consistently in the past are blaming the party, the ANC actually of uh, cadre deployment and not appointing the right people with the right skills in the position. Now, I would have expected from my party to applaud the national government and the president as well as Minister Kelly for uh, taking me. Uh, we've got the relevant experience and quali educational qualifications in this regard uh, to make a contribution. So, yes, uh, it seems to me that uh, Mr. Uh, Bonkikosi Matikizela is hypocritical and, uh, and, and, and I'm steadfast in my resolve mm. to serve our country, to assist the minister in uh, making this police service uh, the professional service, the best we can get to serve our people in South Africa. Yeah. Two, two last questions. We're in news, and I, and I think it's important that we, we, we do stretch this out because this is a, a very big news story as well. You did recently make a statement where you came on record as saying that I am not an ANC member yet. What does that mean? That means as we speak, I've got the right in terms of the constitution of association. And I can <coughs> execute that particular right in future. But as yet as we speak here, now I'm not an ANC member, I'm still a democratic, proud democratic alliance member. Until such time that I decide otherwise, or if they feel that there's something that, uh, or regulation which I contravened, then they can take the necessary action. And then the door will be open to the, to the ANC and then you will join the ANC. Now that is something which I have to discuss with my family and with the ANC leadership uh, and uh, I will cross the bridge when I get there. All right, all cross the floor <laughs> as, as, as the political <laughs> term goes. Um, <laughs> finally, you know, we can talk politics, but at the end of the day, these are lives you're talking about, and it's something that affects every single one of us. If you can, in wrapping up this interview, what are your, as an advisor, top five priorities to the police minister? What do you want to see him focus on? You know, it is not for me, actually, you know, to make such an announcement, because I'm responsible to my principal. And my principal is Minister Becky Kayla. I'm the ghost in his shoulder and the voice in his ear. So uh, I'm not his spokesperson. I'm not vested with uh, um, uh, executive powers that is vested in the minister. I'm not vested with operational powers that is vested in the national commissioner and his provincial commissioners. 
Um, but uh, whatever I feel that needs to be addressed, I will communicate it to the minister, and he in turn uh, will then advise uh, the, the national commissioner in the country accordingly. All right. Leonard, thank you so much for talking to us here on the program. We do really appreciate your time. Leonard Max talking to us about his new position. He is the uh, advisor to Police Minister Becky Tele. And, uh, of course, this is causing a little bit of uh, friction within his party, who he's a member of, and that, of course, is the DA. Now, let us uh, continue talking to us about uh, the uh, news that's... Uh